Chapter 2, Section 2.5 is going to be the VU level conversions. There are two types, double conversions and volume conversions. So the first is going to be an example of a double conversion. Notice that we have given to us 82 meters per second is equal to how many yards per minute. You're dealing with two independent variables. We have meters, which is a length. We're going to convert that to yards. So meters, remember, is metric. And we're going to go to yards, which is English. And then in the denominator here, we have a time. Seconds is going to change to minutes. So you're going to convert two different units, but you're going to do them simultaneously. So we want to rewrite our given here in a different way so that it's more user friendly with dimensional analysis. We're going to write 82 meters all over one second because 82 meters per second is 82 meters per every one second. So times, draw a line. Now you're dealing with two different units. We're going to do one at a time starting with meters because we're going to, that's our length. We're going to bring down meters and we want to change from meters to yards. So we're going to have to go use one of our English to metric conversion factors and that's going to be one of these three. Fortunately we have a conversion factor directly from meters to yards so we're going to use that one. One meter is equal to 1.094 yards. Meters will cancel and now I'm at yards in the numerator, which is what I want. So this part of the problem is done. I'm going to cover up this middle part because it has nothing to do with the second part of our conversion. So I don't want it to distract you. Now we're going to convert our time. Seconds is going to convert to minutes. I'm going to take seconds, and because it's in the denominator here, in order to cancel it, I need to bring it up to the numerator over here. That way, seconds will cancel each other. I'm going to go from seconds to minutes. One minute is equal to 60 seconds. My seconds will cancel and notice I'm left with minutes at the bottom, which is what I wanted. So now this part is done. Go ahead and remove my little red square because that's technically the entire problem as it's supposed to be. Now I'm going to get my answer. You get the answer the same way as usual where I'm going to type in my first number, 82, times 1.094 yards times 60 seconds. And that gives me 5,382. Or as we round it off, it'll equal 5,400. That's going to be yards over minutes. There are three different ways to write this answer. The first way is as it's shown, 5,400 yards over a minute. Another way you could write this is 5,400 yards slash minutes, which is the same. And then you could also write 5,400 yards all over one minute. All three of these are the same answer, just written three different ways, but they all represent the same thing. They're interchangeable. Another example. This time we're going to convert a mass unit, grams, which is metric, to an English mass unit, pounds. So we're going to go from grams to pounds in the numerator. The denominator is a volume, and this one is also metric. And we're going to go to liters, which is also a metric volume. So I'm going to rewrite this given. 0.48 grams all over one centimeter cubed times draw a line. Now remember you have your choice which one of these you want to convert first, but I'm just going to start with the top. We're going to bring down grams and now I need to change from metric grams to English pounds. So I'm going to have to use one of my conversion factors with an asterisk next to it. So I'm going to use one pound is equal to 454 grams. 454 grams equals one pound. Grams is going to cancel and now I have pounds left over which is what I want. Times draw a line. Remember we're ignoring this step right here. So I'll put my square over it just for temporary. And now we're going to work on our volume. 
we need to cancel centimeters cubed by bringing it up to this step over here and then I need to go from centimeters cubed to liter remember that 1000 milliliters is equal to a liter and we know that milliliters and centimeters cubed are exactly the same thing so I can go straight from centimeters cubed because 1000 cubic centimeters is equal to one liter cubic centimeters will cancel and that leaves me with liters at the bottom. So I have pounds at the top, liters at the bottom, which is what I wanted. Now I'll get rid of my little square so we can calculate our answer. We're going to type in 0 0.48 divided by 454 times 1,000. And that's going to give us 1.057, but if we round it off properly, that's going to give us 1.1, and that's pounds over centimeters cubed, or 1.1 pounds slash centimeters cubed, or 1.1 pounds all over one centimeter cubed. Three ways to write the same exact answer, and all. Are acceptable. This one's going to be a volume conversion and we're starting out with centiliter so we'll put 4.5 centiliter over 1 bring down centiliter and remember centiliter is on our metric units so we're over here here's centi and you always want to go to the base unit so we want to get from centiliter to liter so I'm going to go from centiliter to liter. And I know that liter is larger, so it gets a 1. And when I count from liter to centi, I have 10, 100. So there are 100 centiliters in a liter. Centiliters have now canceled. Times draw a line, bring down liter. Now you might be wondering, where do we go from here? Anytime you have a cubed unit, you have only one place you have to go. And that's to centimeters cubed. So thankfully we know that from liters we can go directly to centimeters cubed because one liter equals 1,000 centimeters cubed. Anytime you have a cubed unit, inches cubed, feet cubed, yard cubed, millimeter cubed, decimeter cubed, you always want to get to centimeters cubed first and then you can go from there. So I'm going to bring down my liters cancel. I'm going to bring down centimeters cubed and now we are here at centimeters cubed. Again, you always want to go to the base unit when you're dealing with metric prefixes. So from centimeter, we want to go to meter, except the only difference is since it's centimeters cubed, we're going to go to meters cubed. You're going to use the same type of conversion factor you would normally. The base is larger, so that means meter gets the one. And then from the base to centi, it's 10, 100, so one meter equals a hundred centimeters. The only thing that's very different is because both of these units are cubed, you're going to also cube your numbers. This is a one cubed, which is just one, and then in the denominator this is 100 cubed. And we'll talk about how to type that in your calculator in a minute. Centimeters cubed now cancels. I'm going to bring down meters cubed, and now I'm at meters and I want to get to millimeters cubed because remember from the base you can go to any other unit that you want to. So we're trying to get to millimeters cubed so that's where we're going to go. The larger of these two is meters which is at the base so it gets a 1. If I count from the base to milli there's 10, 100, 1000. So in one meter there's a thousand millimeters. However because they are both cubed that means that these numbers are also going to have to be cubed. This is a one cubed, which is just one, and then in the numerator we have a thousand cubed. Meters cubed will cancel, and now I have the unit that I'm supposed to have for my final answer. So I'm going to calculate this by typing in 4.5 divided by 100 times 1,000 now, divided by, and here's the 100 cubed, so I hit divided by 1, 
100. And then you want to hit either your X to the Y button. You see how it gives me this little carrot, this rooftop? That's going to make it to the power of 3, which is going to cube it. And now I'm going to multiply times 1,000 cubed. So times 1,000 cubed, and that's going to equal 45,000 millimeters cubed. Let's try another one, one more. We start out with 88.2 inches cubed, which I'll emphasize is English, and we're going to end up on hectoliters, which is metric. So because it's English, we're going to start here. I'm going to put my 88.2 inches cubed all over 1 times draw a line bring down inches cubed remember when you're dealing with a cubed unit your goal is always going to be to get to centimeters cubed because that's what's going to bridge everything together for you it just so happens that we have a conversion factor that goes directly from inches to centimeters so we're going to put inches cubed and we're going to go straight to centimeters cubed and we're going to use this conversion factor. One inch equals 2.54 centimeters cubed. The only difference is because both of these units are cubed, that means your numbers have to be cubed. This will be one cubed and in the numerator it will be 2.54 cubed. So now my inches cubed cancel times, draw a line, I can bring down centimeters cubed and now my goal is to get to hectoliter, so I'm trying to get over here to my metric prefixes, my chart on the right down here. So I'm going to go from centimeters cubed to liters because I know that in one liter there are 1,000 centimeters cubed. Centimeters cubed will cancel, and now I'm at liters. Times draw a line, bring down liters. Liters, as you know, is here at the base and I'm trying to get to hectoliter, here's hecta. So remember, you can go from the base to any other metric unit. The question is, which one of these two is a larger unit, bigger? Hecta is larger, so it's going to get the 1. If you count from base to hecta, you count 10, 100. Liters will now cancel, and I'm at hectoliter, which is what I want my final answers unit to be. So now I can calculate my answer. We're going to type in 88.2 times 2.54, and that's cubed. So put my little hat to the 3, divided by 1,000, divided by 100, and that's going to equal 0 0.0145. Hectoliters. You should note here, because we had centimeters cubed to liters, since both of these are not being cubed, we did not cube both of the numbers. You only cube your numbers when both units top and bottom are cubed.